All right, well, welcome back to another Thursday three chord sipping session, and we are here at Roost, which I didn't fully realize that your location is your location. So can we first start with introductions and then where we are so people know? Okay, I am Jim the bartender, and we are at 1502 Niagara Street, um, right between the Skijakla and uh, Porter Ave. So this, it's a high rise, essentially. Yeah, I believe there's seven floors above us. Which in Buffalo, that's considered a high rise. That's so, a high rise. So we're doing good. Yeah. So you've been here how long? Uh, we've been here for four years now. Four It'll years. It'll be five years in December. Were you here from the start? May. I've been with Martin for eight years now. Oh, wow. So at this previous restaurant and here now. Cool. So so time. can you describe Roost? Like what what is this place for somebody that has never been here before? Roost is one of the most unique restaurants in the city, as far as I'm concerned. Um, the kitchen staff is awesome. We change our menu approximately every three weeks. Mm. And it can go anywhere from Italian to Mexican to Asian. And the food's always awesome. Uh, our pizza oven is one of only three in the country. Um, really? Yes. It's imported from Italy. Um, it's just thin crust, awesome pizzas. Um, the breakfast pizza on Sunday brunch is awesome. It's a must-have. Uh, fig and prosciutto is awesome. Sure. Um, the pizzas are really good here. That's really uh, sweet. But it's really interesting because you can come here one week and have Mexican, and the next week it'll be Asian, or could be Italian, or you know South American. Nice. So, and the kitchen doesn't miss a beat. The food's always awesome. Are you able to come during? the Mexican theme and order something like a pizza, like an Italian pizza, or no? Their pizzas okay. are always on the menu. Gotcha. Um, there are set pizzas that are always on there, and then they'll change, like, Mexican menu this week, or so we have a chorizo pizza on the menu. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, it'll change with every menu. Is There'll be a specialty pizza that goes with the theme of the menu. Sure. It's uh, so like Italian was last menu, so they had a lemon ricotta pizza on the menu. Um, but we always have, like, a cheese and pepperoni uh, the fig pizza is always on a mushroom pizza. Nice. So, Very awesome. nice. And then, of course, cocktails, which leads us into our the whole reason why we're here with you. <laughs> so what are we going to make today? We are going to make a classic, well, our twist on a Bouvardier. And what is your twist on it? Well, we're going to smoke it with a little hemp uh, smoke. Nice. That's fascinating. We so let's talk us, or talk us through the... Uh, ingredients that you're going to use for today's cocktail. So obviously we're going to use uh, three quarts bourbon. We're going to use two ounces of that. And an ounce of uh, sweet vermouth. And we like to go a little heavy on the bourbon. Uh, so we're only going to use an ounce of Campari. little orange twist in there and then we're gonna smoke it with hemp with hemp that's fascinating <laughs> When did you guys decide that you wanted to take this turn on a Boulevardier? Well, Martin's always been a fan of uh, hemp. Okay. Uh, so every month we do a uh, tasting menu on Wednesdays. Uh, once a month, it's a five or six course tasting menu. Um, we call it Pineapple Express Dinner. <laughs> and it's all Very focused funny. around what you would have if you were smoking hot sure. and just having a good time. Yep. Um, so we kind of 
change the cocktails accordingly and have fun with it. That's awesome. Cool. Well, you want to get into making it then? Yeah, let's dive into it. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it.